guys, welcome back to the channel. I know that this is not the last video of October for you guys, but this is the last video that I'm filming and I'm so sad. I've enjoyed all of this spooky content with you guys all month and part of me really wants to do December, but I'm honestly just gonna have to see what my December calendar looks like before I decide if I'm gonna do 25 videos in December because this was a lot and I feel like I barely made it through. I did have to skip a couple days, but yeah. Okay, I won't ramble on. Today's video, let me get my book. Today's video, we are making spooky drinks from the unofficial Disney Parks drink recipe book. This is by Ashley Craft and let me show you the matching book to it. There is also an unofficial Disney Parks cookbook. So I got both of these at Barnes and Noble with my mom um, just a couple weeks ago. And I wanted to pick out some recipes that were Halloween themed and everything like that. So we are making two recipes. Is it two recipes from this book? Yes, we're making two recipes from this book. We will be making, we will be making the Joffrey's pumpkin pie latte. And then we're also going to be making the Ghoulish Delight. Oh, here it is, it's in the mocktails section. So then we'll be making the Ghoulish Delight, which is a Halloween drink they serve at Disneyland. And then lastly, to top it all off, here out of my Villains Devilishly Delicious Cookbook, there are a few cocktail and other drink type recipes in this. And we are going to be making the Peddler's Disguise, which looks so delicious. And it is um, an apple cinnamony apple cider. So perfect for the fall time. So before I ramble any further on, let's go ahead and get started crafting these super yummy spooky drinks. So the first thing I made was the Peddler's Disguise. You're gonna need some apple cider, fresh cinnamon sticks, one whole orange, some whole cloves, and lastly, some ginger. You're gonna combine all of these ingredients into a saucepan over medium high heat. And you're really just kind of going to let this simmer slowly until it warms up to a comfortable, um, you know, temperature. So you could really leave this on like a super low heat throughout like a party if you wanted to, or you could even like put it in a crock pot, I feel like, or something like that if you wanted to serve it for, you know, a longer period of time, um, especially if you want to serve it warm. You could definitely serve it cold as well, but I prefer it warm. That's just me. I like warm drinks. <laughs> So I just stirred all those ingredients together and just let it sit. While it was sitting, I cut my orange in half and then I just cut a small little sliver of it to use as a garnish, but I just put it in my drink and I really feel like it added a really super fresh orangey taste and it was really delicious. Um, so then I just give my concoction, my brew, if you will, a final little stir. And then I grabbed two mugs, a serving mug, and then a scooping mug. And I scooped out a huge cup and put it over a strainer to make sure I didn't get any of the hard pieces. And that's what I ate or drank. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's time for taste test number one. I've got it this peddler's disguise in my little zero mug. It's steaming and I put a little slice of orange in there. Oh man, it smells. I'm afraid it's gonna be really hot, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Let's taste it though. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good, you guys. It's like, obviously it tastes like apple cider, but I think the ginger and the orange really make it unique. Yeah, like it just has a little, I don't know, it's just good. I just like, I could drink all of this right now. Oh my gosh, it's literally so good, you guys. Holy crap, okay. This one is definitely a win 
for sure. Next up, we are going to switch over to my unofficial Disney Parks drunk recipe book and we are going to make the pumpkin pie latte. Now, this calls for um, two ounces of espresso and I actually don't have any espresso for my Nespresso right now. Um, so I'm just going to make this with a regular coffee because a lot of the coffees that I have are still pretty strong. So we are just going to make it work as best we can. Um, yeah. Wow. The ingredients for this, I, I knew this was a simple recipe, but I didn't know it was this simple. There's one step in this recipe and it says, combine ingredients in an insulated cover mug enjoy immediately. So that's what we're going to do. Of course, I had a crazy mama in the way. So once I was able to scoot her out, I just went ahead and brewed a full cup of Nespresso coffee. I used the caramel cookie for this one because I felt like this would be the best tasting to go with what I had. And then I went ahead and put the milk into my milk throth frother and turned that on and I just let it run until it stops. It normally stops like when it thinks it's ready. I don't know if it times it or what, but then, oh, the ingredients. You need pumpkin pie syrup, whole milk, and coffee. So I'm just adding in a about an ounce, I think, of the pumpkin pie syrup. I really didn't know how to measure this. I didn't have a measuring device for ounces so I just stirred that in really well and then I went ahead and added my frothed milk and then I just let the foam pour out there on top and lastly I had to add some spooky sprinkles you guys it needed to be aesthetic and spooky and it turned out really cute all right you guys I won't lie I'm a little nervous for this one because I'm very picky when it comes to coffee and I don't like strong coffee. I like it to be very flavored. She is cute though, with the little sprinkles on top. I mean, she's pretty cute. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, I'm getting his phone, one second. So, obviously it's a little bit later than this video was filmed. Um, turns out, sorry for my creaky noisy chair, turns out my camera um, somehow deleted the last piece of footage for this video. Um, so that really stinks. I will say the conclusion of the pumpkin pie latte is that I don't think I put enough of the syrup in because I think it called for an ounce or two ounces or something like that. And once I did the next drink, I realized I didn't think I put enough because I couldn't really taste the pumpkin pie aspect of it. It just tasted like a latte to me. So um, it was only okay. It just tasted like a normal latte. Um, and then the next drink I made, I'll put a picture of right here. It is the Ghoulish Delight from, um, it's in Disneyland, um, Hollywood something. I can't remember. They serve it, I think, or at Halloween time. And it's like an ode to the opening song for Haunted Mansion. And it was really cool. It turned out this super blue color. The cotton candy was a super fun um, additive on there. And it tasted really good. It tasted like um, you know those popsicle sticks that come in like the long skinny plastic packaging that you have during the summer when you're a kid? It tasted like the blue one, but like the syrup at the very end. Like not the whole popsicle, just that last little bit of syrup that is like so flavorful after all the ice has been eaten and that kind of thing. That's exactly what it tasted like. And it was really good. So I'm, I'm so sorry, you guys. I just, I am having the worst luck, I guess, with my one video being taken down due to copyright and then losing the other half of this video. I'm just, so anyways, I hope you guys still did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a like and hit that big red subscribe button down below to come hang out with me for the last two days of October. We're so close. Um, I really hope you guys have an absolutely amazing Halloween. Um, I feel like I'm closing it out because it's like the last time I'm talking to you because it's the last video I'm filming. All the, all the other two were pre-filmed. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy those. 
and I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.